Today we are going to learn about multiplication. You're going to learn how to multiply. And if that sounds really scary or if that sounds like a difficult thing, it's just because you don't know how to do it yet. Once you learn the game, once you learn the process, it's fun, it's awesome. You see, multiplying is like being a detective. You're cracking a code, which is so cool. You're solving mysteries, like legit mysteries. Like, I'm I'm in an office building right now. There's a cake behind me. For some reason, I'm looking out right now at you guys, and I see that you're like, whoa, we're going to multiply. And once you learn, it's just a game. So buckle in for the fun and the learning. Let's say you have two bikes, and for some reason they look the exact same, and somebody wants to give you an air pump. They ask a simple question. How many tires do you have to take care of? To figure that out, we're going to use multiplication. We're going to play the game. It's going to be awesome. Okay, so here is how multiplication works. So we put the number that's in each group, and then we put this X, which means times, and then the number of groups. So that tells us how many times that number is going to show up, and then we add them all together, and you've got your answer. Isn't that cool? And just a side note, to work, there has to be the same number in each group. Now remember, we're trying to figure out how many tires you have to take care of if you have two bicycles. Alright, now we have the wheels under each bike. Each bike has two wheels. One, two. So we write down a two. Each bike has two wheels. Remember, the first number we write down with multiplication is the number in each group. Then we write an X. This X means times. Two times. It's the symbol of multiplication. Alright, the second number we write are the number of groups. You can see them here. How many groups do we have of two? How many? Yeah, two. So it reads two times two. To figure this out, we are going to skip count by two. Two, four. That means two times two equals four. If you have two bikes, that means you have four wheels. Two, two times, is four. Remember, this is how multiplication works. The number in each group times the number of groups equals your answer. Of course, to work, there has to be the same number in each group. All right, let's take this to the next level. Let's say someone has four bikes. And here are their wheels. Woohoo! Yeah! You know how to do this now. Each bike has two wheels, so the first number we write down is the number two. That's the number in each group. We're going to put the time symbol there and count the number of groups. One, two, three, four. So it's two times four. This is so much fun. This is multiplication. Now let's skip count to get the answer. Two, four, six, eight. Eight is our answer. There are eight wheels. Two times four equals eight. This is how multiplication works. We put the number in each group times the number of groups and we get our answer. You're getting the hang of it. All right, let's try this one. Let's say you buy three packs of trading cards. Let's say each pack had five cards in it. Huh, that's a pretty good amount. 
So three packs of five cards. How many cards did you get in total? That's a really great question. Sounds like we're going to need to multiply. So each group has five, so that's the first thing we write down, the number in each group. That's five. Put the multiplication sign, which is the X, which means times, five times. How many groups are there? One, two, three. So the second number is three. Five times three. What's five times three? We're going to skip count to find out. Five, ten, fifteen. Five times three equals fifteen. You have fifteen trading cards. All right, this is how it works. You take the number in each group times the number of groups and you get your answer. Now here are some multiplication tricks that are going to be really sneaky ways that you can figure out multiplication problems really, really quickly. Here's the trick. If you multiply any number by zero, you always get zero. Always, you always get zero. Here's an example. Five times zero equals zero. When you have zero groups of five, that means you have zero. There are none. Whenever you multiply any number by zero, you always get zero. One hundred times zero equals zero. Even if zero is the first number in the equation, you still always get zero when you multiply by any number. For example, zero times eleven equals zero. And zero times 1,000 equals zero. If you multiply any number by zero, you always get zero. Oh, this has been so much fun. Here is the next trick. If you multiply any number by one, it stays the same. Look at these. Seven times one equals seven. 100 times one equals 100. 33 times 1 equals 33. If you flip them, the answer stays the same. 1 times 7 equals 7. 1 times 100 equals 100. 1 times 33 equals 33. Honestly, the order of the multiplied numbers does not change the answer. If you were to flip the number of groups and the number in each group, you would still get the same answer. Though we still recommend this way, so simple, the number in each group times the number of groups to get your answer. So the two tricks have been, if you multiply any number by zero, you always get zero. And if you multiply any number by 1, it stays the same. The final multiplication trick is to use multiplication tables. They come in all shapes and sizes, but they are all helpful, especially as you're first learning how to multiply. Here are some examples of multiplication tables. There's a table for all of the numbers from 1 to 10. Some kids memorize tables like these so that they'll know right off the bat in a moment what an answer could be for certain multiplication problems. This is how multiplication works. The number in each group times the number of groups gives us our answer. Thanks for watching our video on multiplication. You were a great detective. We hope you had fun because it really is like a game. And we hope to see you next video.